Okay. Hello, fourth graders. We're going to do something really fun tomorrow in technology class. It's called a mystery hangout. And we're going to find out where in the USA another class is. We're going to be using Google Hangouts, which is similar to FaceTime, um, to call another classroom. And we're going to try to guess where they are. And they are also going to be trying to guess where we are. We're going to be using Google Maps, yes and no questions, and of course our brains to try to figure out their location. There's going to be lots of jobs in this class. Um, let's see if I can exit that. Oh, I can't see all my jobs. There we go. Whoops. We're going to have two people that are the greeters. They're going to say hello, and they're going to say some cool facts about your class without giving away the location. So um, those two people, you kind of got a little bit of homework tonight. It's not hard, but just some creative things to introduce yourself. We're going to have two inquirers. Those are going to be people that are going to ask the question and be the voice of the classroom. They need to be able to talk clearly. They need to be able to think under pressure, and they need to be able to work with each other really well. We're going to have three answers. They're also going to be the voice of the classroom, and they're going to answer the other class's questions. These people need to know a lot about our location. They need to be able to answer if Ohio is east or west of the Mississippi River. They need to be able to answer what our bordering states are. They need to be able to answer what mountain ranges, if any, go through our state, what rivers and what lakes we touch. Um, they can have Chromebooks in front of them, but you, these are things that you should know about Ohio if you're an answerer. If you feel like you're not strong in that area, you should go for a different job. The question keeper, we're going to have three of those, and they're going to either type or write, um, whatever you guys think is best, all of the questions that we ask them and the answers we get so that we don't repeat ourselves. Um, you don't have to write it word for word, but you have to get the main idea down. We're going to have an atlas mapper. I'll bring uh, um, two maps uh, for these people, paper maps, so they can kind of cross off areas that we know that um, our, our mystery classroom is um, is not in. We're going to have three clue keepers. They're going to work closely with inquirers to help guide them in their questions. We don't want to waste any questions and ask. We want to ask really good ones. We're going to have three runners, but really they're going to be walking from group to group to help relay information. Um, like maybe a clue keeper has a really good idea. Um, um, that's not a good example, but later down, we're going to see we have a think tank and they may have a really good idea and they're going to pass it on to the clue keepers. Um, we're going to have two photographers to take pictures during this entire experience. We're going to have five Google mappers. They're going to be on their Chromebooks and Google Maps to help determine the other people's location. And six people that are a think tank also on their Chromebook and doing any type of research needed. Maybe it's in Google Maps as well, um, or maybe it's other things to, to help us figure out where they're located. Mrs. Valentine is going to go ahead and, and take a second to have you guys kind of volunteer and fit in what job makes sense for all of you. Um, and if this goes well, we'll do it again next year and you guys can try out a different job. Here's some quick do's and don'ts. Do tomorrow, pay attention to the questions that the other team asks. Sometimes they'll give away clues. Pay attention in general. You need to stay calm and don't be rude to each other. Um, it's not going to go well if you get panicked or hyper or if someone says something they shouldn't. You know, it's not the end of the world. Let's be calm and nice. Um, you're going to be assigned a job and you're going to stick to that job. Don't try to do someone else's job. Like I said, we can do this again next year and you'll have a chance to do someone else's job. Um, and we do need to write down what they say so we keep track of um, where uh, to keep track of our clues. Things not to do. Oh, there's a typo. Um, let me fix that. Don't ask vague questions such as, is it rainy there? Um, that's not going to really help us. Don't guess the state qu too quickly. Let's not get three questions in and you guys just start rattling off states that it could be. We want to get more specific. When we start guessing states, we should have it really narrowed down to just a couple. Don't yell out, be panicked, or be rude. Here are some etiquette things. Um, classrooms do this kind of thing all of the time, and here are some etiquette rules that they have um, come up with. One, sit quietly and look at the screen so your audience can see that you're paying attention to them. Remember, they can see you the whole time, and it would be really rude if you were goofing off. Don't raise your hand unless it's question and answer time. Let the speaker finish first. Do not shout out. Wait to be called on. When speaking to the other class, look at the camera, not at yourself, and speak a little louder than your normal voice, and of course, be polite. 
I will share this presentation with you because it has some good possible questions. A good starting question would be, are you east of the Mississippi River? And if they say yes, here are some follow-up questions. So our um, inquirers and clue keepers can use this list to figure out what time, if it's time to ask any of these questions. Um, on these ones that have slashes, they're yes or no questions. So you can't say, are you in the Northeast, Midwest, Southwest region? You would have to say just one at a time. Are you in the Northeast region? And they'd have to say yes or no. Um, and here's a list if they answer west of the Mississippi River. Some um, follow-up questions and some other possible questions um, and some possible clues if we get to the point where either side needs to give a clue. So um, my think tank, you guys can, my think tank and my clue keepers and my inquirers, you can have this presentation open tomorrow with these sample questions to help you out. Let's see how this goes. Um, I'm really relying on you guys to make this go well. I've wanted to do this for a while and I think you're the perfect group to give it a try. Uh, Mrs. Valentine, you can stop. There we go. I'm having trouble stopping.